Yo, what's going on guys? So today, just a quick little video. I'm here with my main man, Steve. Yo. And um, for those of you who don't remember Steve, he's quite a regular to the channel now. And um, we've done a, uh, his Subaru hatch, which is about 530, 540 brake, Steve? 530. 530 brake. And um, we've done a little walk around on his camper van. And also um, at Castle Coombe, I did see Steve. So he's quite a regular to the channel now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a quick look at his uh, um, classic rally car that is kind of built from scratch. So yeah, we're just gonna have a little walk around and uh, see what's going on. Steve's gonna talk us through some stuff because I ain't got a clue what's going on. And uh, yeah, in a few weeks time and all that, I think we're gonna take out for a spin. So uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side. All right, guys, so we're just gonna have a little walk around the car now. And uh, Steve's gonna point out all the stuff that's going on because a lot of time and effort has gone into it. How much, how long do you reckon it's taken to get to this stage? About, about six months in all, to be honest. Really? Maybe, maybe a little bit longer, yeah. It was more um, finding the money for parts and finding the parts more than it was actually how long it took to kind of put it all together in one piece. But um, yeah. it's, it's more or less there now. Yeah, cool. And so how did it? How did the car originally like start life? What was it? A it was just a normal um, WRX import. Um, yeah. My friend got it. Um, he started building it, got it to to paint, um, and just sort of give up on it. Um, so it was a case of me taking a painted shell and putting all the bits that I wanted onto it. Yeah, yeah. And have you like um, have you built one of these before? No, first one. First one you've ever first built? First rally yeah? car. Yeah, I built I built okay. Subarus before. I built a couple of track cars. Yeah, um, yeah. But this is the first one to build to MSA spec. Right. Okay. Okay. And is it? What's your plans with it? You're going to keep it, or you're going to sell it, or yeah, the plans to sell it? I, yeah. I was going to do it, try and do a couple of rallies in it, but um, <laughs> so you're not even going to try it out. I don't want to hurt it. You don't want to hurt it. No. The paintwork's so nice on it, and it's all tidy underneath. I just. I don't have the heart to do it to it, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then. So when do you reckon it'll be up for sale? And if anybody was interested who's watching this video, would they be able to, like, um, it's, get in touch? Or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's for sale as is if someone wanted to buy it. There is there is a uh, fourth gear issue with the five-speed box, which I'm going to be taking the five-speed out and putting a six-speed into it. Right, okay. Um, if someone wants to do that themselves, then they can always. there's always a price to be said on that. But yeah, um, yeah. I'm open to have the six speed in it in the next few weeks. Okay. Um, and then it'll be for sale properly. All right. What, so can people get in touch with you then? Yeah, if they yeah. see this through the channel, yeah? yeah? No problem, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah just All right. get in, in touch with me, yeah. Okay then. So you heard it when it's gonna be ready about six weeks kind of time, Yeah, you said? yeah, about that, yeah. All right. Or well, if you wanna take it as it is, I'm sure Steve's gonna be up for some kind of deal. But, yeah, um, or if there's someone eager for it, I'm sure I can rush the box and get <laughs> it in there. <laughs> All right, fair enough. So we'll just have a walk around then, Steve, and then you can uh, just point out to us what's going on where. So the first thing I did notice when I came around the back was this. So what's this, Steve? It's a ring light. Um, they, you need it for circuit racing for the MSA logbook. So um, right. if I, I did intend on going on a circuit on it before I sold it. I, I had it ready. So yeah, it was um, a circuit rain, racing ring light. Right, okay. Then um, obviously, um, so what, what kind of exhaust system is it that's running? Um, it's a, a three inch uh, exhaust from memory. No, right. maybe two and a half inch, I can't remember. It was um, it was on the, the car I broke last. Um, I can't remember what make the exhaust is, but it's a, um, got a sports cat on it and a few other right. um, bits. So yeah, it's a, it's a nice sounding exhaust. All right, then. Um, should be all right for track days and stuff. Right, and what, um, so what have you operated underneath there? Because see a lot of... Uh, it's got um, it's got adjustable arms on there. Um, it's got adjustable lateral arms and adjustable trailing arms. Um, it's got a fully tube tubular WRC designed subframe. 
Um, it should have a under tray. Yeah, the under tray still on there. It's got um, it's fully guarded underneath. Um, it's got Kevlar guard on the tank. All right then. So yeah, I could, yeah. Notice the Kevlar under there. So that's the, the tank that's uh, protected. Yeah, you, yeah. Need, you need need a tank guard for the MSA logbook. It needs to be right. fully guarded underneath, which has got. Um, uh, a sump guard, a uh, gearbox guard, and the rear diff guard. Okay, you got any other Kevlar bits anywhere? Yeah, the side skirts are, are Kevlar as well. Um, you'll notice the little holes in the side skirts. They're for the sill stands, um, for for the rallying, so you can chuck it up at the same stands rather than the axle stands that it's on at the minute. Right, okay. Um, we'll We'll tie the obviously Toyo proxies. Yeah, um, brand, they're brand new. And the wheels? Yeah, wheels are freshly powder coated. Original? Um, STI, new age STI wheels. Yeah, and the brakes been uprated at all? Yeah, it's got the larger Brembo's on there off the new age. RCM wheel nuts. Carbon mirrors? Yeah, because the uh, WRC carbon mirrors. Um, it's got full window film. Um, so if the gas breaks, it doesn't shatter or anything. It just stays in one piece. And I know you've got the twin roof fence up there. Yeah, the, out of the Group A, Group A rally car. Yeah. Um, they've been properly cutted and bonded in and everything, so they're not um, they're not just for show. Brakes, uh, are these operated as well. Fronts, yeah, yeah, yeah. The larger Brembo's on the front as well. They from a new age as well, are they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, all new discs and pads, even though they look a little bit rusty. They are brand new. Yeah. Bonnet catches? Yeah, bonnet catches, just for safety really, just to make sure that it's, um, the bonnet stays down. Uh, so you've got the old Orcs beam light bar there? Is yeah, it? Um, just because I liked them to be honest <laughs> with you. And I thought, well, a rally car is an excuse to have a light bar on there. Yeah, okay, let's have a look, see what's going on in the engine then. Yeah, not, not too much going on in the engine. So is it standard? Standard engine on this yeah, one. EJ20? Yeah, EJ20? Yeah, EJ20, yeah, yeah. Um, TDO5 turbo. Okay, what, 16G? Yeah, 16G, so yeah, yeah probably good for 320, 330. Okay, um, and what um, ECU is it running? It, it's got, a, it's the standard ones in there at the minute, and yeah. it does run fine on the standard ECU. Okay. Um, but there's an Alcatec also in there ready to map, so um, okay. it's all motorsport enabled with the anti-lag and launch control, so whether someone wanted to take it with the standard ECU on and then have their mapper map it yeah. or my mapper Bob to, to do his work on it, that's okay. again negotiable. So as it stands power-wise at my what we're looking about 260, 270-ish? Yeah, 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 about that for the standard yeah. WRX import, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. And so, that's just, so I do see a few like different uh, so we've got hard pipes yeah the hard pipe intercooler pipe work is actually yeah been, so you've got a front mounted intercooler it's been re-trimmed um and uh channels have been cut into the underneath the headlights to the front mount yeah um to keep it away from the wheels okay um, the, the pipe works shorter safer um even if you have a front corner smash you should be able to still keep going okay and what front mount is it um, it was just a custom made one for, the, for right. the car. It was kept as small as possible because um, there was it was just necessary for the, the, the gap we had. Okay. Uh, I see some braided lines braided here. Braided line, yeah. There's um, It's the fuel lines. They run front to back. They're all braided front to back. Yeah. Um, there is a fuel filter. I just haven't cut it in yet. Okay. Uh, fully adjustable coilovers? Yeah, yeah. Uh, not fully, just ride height adjustable for now. Right, okay. Um, yeah, it was just because they were new and the good option for it, to be honest. Um, like I said, I was planning on taking it on a track, first of all, so. Yeah. Um, nice and hard suspension is always a good thing. I know, have you got any um, strut braces to go on the front, or not? N not needed. Not um, needed, I no. Mean, it's, it's stiff enough with the cage. The cage goes right through um, and is fully linked in behind the dash fully full dash bar and yeah. everything else so and what what air filter are we running down here it's um, like i couldn't tell you some know. kind of mushroom isn't yeah, it yeah some some mushroom filter it came, <laughs> came with the car that i i took the engine out of so what's the kind of mileage on this engine then uh it was a ninety thousand mile car ninety thousand yeah. yeah yeah okay and the seats are all like um 
obviously, every, obviously everything is, is going to be, what is it, MR approved? Uh, uh, MSA spec. MSA yeah. spec, um, yeah. Everything's in date. Um, everything's, uh, everything that needs MSA rules is basically brand new. Yeah. Oh man, this seat is like, is this your driving position that is in now? It is, yeah. It is, yeah? yeah Come on, man. I got a bit of a weird driving position for such a tall chap. Yeah. I tend to sit quite close to the steering wheel. Yeah. I do like, not fully straight for me, but just with a little bend in my arms, but yeah. yeah. All right, so what's, got, what's this then, OMP wheel? Yeah, yeah, um, the deep wood dish wheel and um, uh, a quick release hub on there. Just to make life getting easier. Well, they just pull that. Getting in and out. Yeah, just pull the blue bit. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Pops off. If you reach down here and push the the blue button on the the center console. What this one? Yeah. Push the blue button. It should all light up. Oh yeah. Oh. Which of you um, now switch the Red switch, red what that? switch, yeah, flitch that up. Up, yeah. That gear up. Don't know if the battery's been charged, push the red button. I like it, man, that sounds good. <laughs> it's like being in a in a fighter plane or something, man. Press this, toggle that, push that, bingo. <laughs> yeah. You think I took that steering wheel off, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what ECU do you say it's running? Uh, it's got a standard one at the moment, isn't it? But you've got an Alcatech. It's, it's the standard one at the minute. The yeah. Down in the footwell, but there's a, an Alcatech underneath the dash that just needs plugging in and, and mapping to the car, really. Okay. Um, and you got, I see you got your toggle switches here. Is that for like your uh, different maps when you're gonna have? Yeah, yeah. anti lag. Don't, uh, All right, anti lag, yeah. Maps. Um, uh, there's a switch over there for as a spare. Um, we've got the heaters, the fans, um, the light bar, um, and the map light that is above our heads. All on those switches beside you. Okay. Um, the switches over here beside me. I've got um, the the Brandt timer. Um, the intercoms, which are for the helmets in the back, um, and the, the light. The helmets in the back are both brand new and will come with the car. Um, so there's fully intercom helmets ready to go. So if someone wants to jump in it and go rally in the next day, they pretty much can. Okay, okay. And what's these yellow things? They're for the fire extinguishers. Uh, they're they're seatbelt cutters. The two yellow bits on the side. Ah, oh, right. I see. And again, for the MSA rules, um, the uh, electric cut is the blue button that we use to switch on and off. Okay. Um, and the extinguishers, the uh, the box on the bottom, and the the red. Oh, this one. The red button, yeah. Right. Okay. That one there. Yeah. Ah, yeah, right. I we've see. We've also yeah. got the my egg on the bonnet as well. Um, emergency cut out. Um, you've got the hydraulic handbrake. Yeah. Um, there's a, a brake bias valve under your seat as well. Um, oh, what, for the braking force split yeah, rear? Yeah. So what is it at the moment? Um, I think I've got it set at about 50-50. Okay, and what's the torque split in this? Is it a 50-50 split? Yeah, torque it's, split the, yeah, as it's well, the standard yeah. five-speed box kind of right, split. Right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's um, a drink system on each of the, the backs of the seats. These here, yeah? Yeah, um, so the driver and passenger can drink while they're, they're racing around. So yeah, I've tried to, to cover as many things as I can with it. So is the cage like any special kind of metal, Steve, or? Um, I couldn't honestly tell you. Um, <laughs> I, I think it's T45, but... Um, well, it's, it's got to be up to, um, what's it, MRC? Uh, MSA. MS, I'll get there by the end yeah, of the day. Yeah. It's got to be up to MSA spec though, MSA isn't it? MSA spec, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, and these, I take it, are the uh, water bottles, yeah? Yeah, yeah, they've got a water bottle inside them. They're both brand new, never been used, so the new yeah. owner can, can put whatever they want in them. See, It's got the, the spray bottle for the um, washer jets in, in the back here, and the battery behind the driver's seat. 
Um, there's another fire extinguisher over by me, the OMP fire extinguisher. Yeah, I know. It's uh, and the cargo net as well. Yeah, what's yeah, that's, that's for the helmets. Helmet, yeah, helmet net. Yeah, just to make sure you've got them safe when you're when you're got them stowed away. There's um to go with the MSA logbook. There's spill kits and um a few other bits around the car. Okay. Yeah, hey yo, I'm feeling blessed. Now sit back and observe days I used to ride bikes, pegs in the curve, swerve through traffic, headphones on with still matic. I'm lyrically inclined.